Hey guys, uh, in this session, we're going to learn about uh, overview of pressure network, application of pressure network, and also we're going to learn about uh, introduction to pressure network tools for plan view and uh, profile view. So let's get start the session. Uh, I'm going to click on home tab on uh, Civil 3D ribbon. I'm going to locate pipe networks. You can, you can see two, for, two options, pipe networks and pressure networks. Pipe networks or gravity networks is useful to model gravity based flows. We have already learned about uh, pipe networks option in the previous sessions. In this session we're going to deal about uh, we're going to deal about uh, pressure network. Uh, these pressure networks are useful to model uh, pressure based flows such as uh, water network, landscape line, irrigation lines and uh, any other flows uh, based on pressure or uh, following the surface. These pressure networks and uh, pipe networks uh, runs based on uh, path list and uh, pre-created uh, catalog files from Autodesk. Uh, there you can set or find the pre-created uh, path list or uh, catalogs under this create design panel. You can see set network catalog, this is for pipe network, set pressure network catalog for pressure networks. I'm gonna hit on pressure network catalog. Under this catalog folder, this folder path, you can assign the imperial or uh, metric. It will be redirected to your C drive. Under this catalog database file, you can choose uh, appropriate uh, database file of uh, mechanical, HDP, flanged, push on, PVC, and steel. These catalogs are designed based on uh, American Waterworks Association design standards. You can also create your own catalog files based on your project requirements or design files using content create content catalog editor I'm gonna click on settings tab I'm gonna locate the uh, pressure network I'm gonna expand this I'm gonna expand part list as I said before uh, pressure network and pipe networks will be uh, works based on the part list We'll see what are the options available on pre-created or uh, predefined uh, part list. The default part list will be water and standard. I'm gonna see uh, what are the options available on this part list now. I'm gonna click on edit. This part list uh, tab and uh, works uh, pretty similar like a pipe networks. This is information tab. You can assign whatever the name you want under this pressure network. You can you can add the uh, material of a pipe, right click and say add material. I have already added ductile iron pipe. Under this ductile iron pipe you can add the size which is pretty uh, straightforward as like a uh, pipe networks. Under these fittings uh, like bends you can add a uh, type of bends like cross, elbow and T. Under these each fittings you can add different size. Click on add size you can add uh, multiple size or you can uh, choose all size. Under this upper tenants, uh, which is known as water valves, uh, you can choose uh, different types of water valves here. You can see the type of valve on this uh, dialog bar, on this uh, preview bar, and you can add different size of water valve. And you can uh, you can click on this add all size. On this summary, you can check the statics of this uh, part list and. Uh, this catalog path as well. I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna locate the pressure network pipe. I'm gonna expand this pressure pipe style. You can choose or you can create the own styles here. The same thing for label styles for plan view and the profile view. The same thing for fittings. You can create your fitting styles here or edit uh, pre created styles. This is for label style for fittings in the plan view and the profile view. And these upper tenants uh, are water valves. You can choose or create uh, appropriate uh, water valve styles. This is label style for water valves in the plan view and uh, profile view. I'm gonna locate pressure network again. I'm gonna say right click and edit feature settings. There you can see here default styles you can assign whatever the default style for your pipe networks so, or uh, pressure pipes so when you will draw on the your wood you can choose appropriate styles whichever you want 
it will be predefined. Uh, it will it will shows by default. You can see here by default style. Uh, same thing with the uh, fitting label style and uh, in the plan v1 profile view. Uh, same thing for pipes and upper tenants. You can assign default name format for your network, and you can assign the label placement in a plan view and the profile view, and uh, the same thing for section view as well. Okay, in this drawing, I have already created uh, some pipe networks, operation networks. I'm gonna zoom those pipes here. Let's see how it will be works uh, with respect to profile view. I'm gonna zoom this profile. I'm gonna zoom this pipe. I'm gonna choose this pipe on a plan view. You can see here uh, three grips, three kind of tri grips on the pipe end. This arrow is stands for lengthen the pipe. By clicking this, you can change the length of the pipe on the same direction. By this plus mark, you can add or continue the pipe. You can see here, you can add the pipe. I'm going to select this pipe again. Under this grip, this is deflection of the pipe angle. You can see that uh, deflection of pipe. You can draw or uh, you can set the pipe here like this. I'm going to change the length of this pipe for now to see how it will be works on a plan and profile relation. You can see here, if you update this pressure network on a plan view, it is also updating on a profile view. And as it is change the length, it will update on the annotated table, a uh, pipe schedule table, which is already pre-created in this drawing. You can, you can see here the length of pipe is getting update. I'm gonna I'm gonna change some fittings here. I'm gonna change the fitting location uh, which is already uh, showing some uh, some construction information in a plan view and the profile view. Uh, I'm gonna select this fitting. I'm gonna change this location here. There you can see here it's automatically updated uh, construction information in plan view and the profile view it, which is automatically or dynamically linked between plan and profile here you can see here if you select this fitting uh, you can see kind of uh, grips here this is for location using this you can update the location of the fittings this is for slide where you want to add these fittings this arrow mark will be updated to flip the fittings. As you can see here, it's changing the direction or it's flipping. Using this rotation, you can rotate your fitting on your own way. So these are the basic or introduction to pipes, uh, fittings and uh, pipes and fittings. I'm gonna click on these uh, pipes now. You can see here the ribbon will be automatically updated uh, as like a pipe networks. A uh, few of the options are pretty same compared to pipe networks. Uh, this network properties is useful to set the default styles and layout settings here. You can choose, uh, you can change the name of this uh, network. Under this label, you can assign predefined labels, style for plan view and profile view. Under this profile, you can choose uh, some settings. Under this network, edit network, you can see two options available, plan layout and uh, profile layout. If you want to update uh, or draw any pipes on a plan view, you have to choose uh, plan layout tools. You can see here, uh, network properties and uh, as a surface. You can choose or assign any of the surface and alignment and uh, the part list, whichever you want to draw or assign the predefined or pre-created uh, the diameter of the pipes. Under this cover, you can assign uh, what are the cover depth uh, which follow the surface. You can
can choose any of the pipe diameter here. This pipes and bend option is useful too. If you want to draw pipes uh, along with pipes and bend, you can choose this option. If you want to draw only pipes, you can choose only pipes option. Under this add fitting, you can add a different diameter of uh, different angle of fittings here at any time. Under this upper tenons, you can choose uh, types of valves here. You can use uh, this option to break the pipe and you can use this option to move parts. I'm gonna close this dialog box now. Sorry, Ribbon. I'm gonna choose uh, Profile Layout Tools. This Profile Layout Tools is useful to uh, draw a work on uh, Profile View. These are pretty similar to Plan Layout Tools option. Uh, this curve pipe uh, uh, is useful to draw curve pipe in a profile view uh, in a vertical vertical direction as you can see here if you want to draw vertical uh, uh, sorry curve pipe in a vertical way you can use this option this follow surface is useful to change the depth uh, or cover um, whenever you want to update in a profile view this break pipe option is useful to break the pipe uh, in a profile view as well uh, it will it will automatically update in the plan view as well and this change slope and change elevation is useful to uh, change the slope and the elevations in a profile view and plan view accordingly. Okay, this is for this session. Uh, in this section, we're going to learn about uh, how to create pressure network using tools and uh, how to draw parts in profile view. Thank you.